Genesis chapter 8. It says, And God remembered Noah, and every living thing, and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. The waters of swayed. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained. Then the waters returned from off, from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated. The ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountain of Ararat, which is in Turkey. Okay. And the waters de decreased continually until the tenth month. And the tenth and in the tenth month on the first day of the month were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he set forth the raven, which went forth to and fro, until the waters were dried up from the earth. Also he sent forth a dove from him, to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest from for the sole of the, her foot, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet other seven days. And again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening. And lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. But yet, and he stayed yet another seven days and sent forth the dove which returned not again unto him anymore. And it came to pass in the 601st year, 601, in the first month, the first day of the month, which would be January 1st, 601. 601 <clears throat> um, that the waters were dried up from off the earth and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and behold the face of the ground was dry and in the second month of the seventh and twentieth day of the month was the earth dry February 27 601 Now, and God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee, of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, and his sons and his wives, I mean, his sons and his wife and his sons' wives were uh, with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds, went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took every clean beast and every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Now, an altar sounds like what? Sounds like a smoke pit to me. He built him a smoke pit. How else you gonna cook all these clean birds? What was the clean, clean fowls? We're talking about the, the yard birds, the chickens, the, the pigeons, and, and all those things that we eat today called chicken. <laughs> and every clean beast, all that good meat. Not the pig, but the other. The pig was the unclean. We're talking about the clean beast. We're talking about that good, good beef and 
and all that good good stuff. Venison. So he took some he took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings unto the Lord. And the Lord smelled a sweet savior. Mm. Must have smelled good. Must have smelled like some good old Q. He smelled it. The Lord smelled that it smelled a sweet savior. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything, everything living as I have done. While the earth remained, remained of seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and the day and night shall not cease. Why? So that the cycle of the growth cycles of the bed cycle, the bloom cycles of the plants and the trees and the fruits and the crops can continue to uh, produce fruit and produce seed so it can replenish the earth. And, and <clears throat> Genesis chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and of the, de and of the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air and upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, and the, uh, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God may he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah, and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you. The Lord made a covenant with Noah and his sons. Okay. And it says, and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl and of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more a uh, Neither shall there be, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant, which I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, my rainbow, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. It shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud. And I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature 
of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, That is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two, and told his two brethren without. And Shem, and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. So they took it upon their shoulders looking one way, one looking that way, the other one looking that way and they backed up and trying not to look at their father being naked and laid that sheet on. So they didn't have to see his daddy, their daddy drunk off that wine. Now, it says, they laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their face was, faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of all of, of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. Now, these are the general, uh, sorry, Genesis chapter 10. Now, verse 1. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Gomer and Magog, and Madi, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus, and the sons of Gomar, Ashkenaz, and Ripha, and Togoma. By these were the isles of the Gentiles, the islands of the Gentiles, divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families and their nations. And the sons of Ham were Cush and Mizraim, Mizraim and Put, or Put, and Canaan. Canaan. And the sons of Cush were uh, Seba and Habala and Sab uh, Sabta and Rama and Sabteca. And the sons of Rama was Sheba and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, and he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Eric, and Akkad, and Karnak, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Ashur and built it uh, Nave, and the city Rehoboth and Kala. And resin between Nave and Kala, the same is a great city. And Mizraim began Ludum and Ananim 
and Lahabim and not to him and Pashrim and call Kashluhim uh, out of whom Philistine and Kaph torn and Canaan Canaan they get Sidon his firstborn and Heth bear with me on some of these names alright trying to get through it and the uh, Jebusite and the Amorite and the Gergesite <laughs> and the Havite and the Archite and the Sinite and the uh, Arvidite and the Zamorite and the Hamathite and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad and the border of the Canaanites was Sidon as thou comest into Gera unto Gaza as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah and Adma and Zeboim even unto Lasha these are the sons of Ham after their families after their tongues in their countries and in their nations unto Shem also the father of all the children of Ebar, Eber, sorry, Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder. Even to him were children born. The children of Shem were Elam and Ashur and Arphazad and Lud and Abram. And the children of Aram was Uz and Hur and Getha and Mash or Mash and Arphasad begat Salah and Salah begat Eber and unto Eber were born two sons the name of one was Peleg and in his days was the earth divided and his brother's name was Joktan, and Joktan begat Almodad, and Shelef, and Hazar Mepha, and Jerah, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimel, and Sheba. And Ophar and Havala and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling was from Mesha as thou goest unto Safar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, and their lands, and their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations and their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. And we're going to stop there for today.